Good morning to you all. I am Judge Pringle QC and I'm one of the judges based here in Oxford Crown Court. You uh, are here of course as potential jurors because of the summonses that you've received and answered. But I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all for attending here today. Jury service is probably one of the most important civic duties that we are asked to perform. I know that many of you will have busy and demanding personal and professional lives, but all of you play a vital part in the criminal justice system in this country and you are utterly central to the trial process. The knowledge and experience of life that each of you brings to our courts is essential to our system of trial by jury. I trust that all of you will have a positive experience in the time that you serve here as jurors and I repeat to you all how grateful we are. Thank you. Good morning jurors and welcome to Oxford Crown Court. Before we start you should all have a copy of your jury expense sheet we will go through these later in the DVD. To begin, let me explain the layout of your jury suite. Once you come through the doors, there is a disabled toilet in front of you. The other toilets are situated round the corner and up the stairs. There is also further seating for the jurors at the top of the stairs, which is also where the lockers are located. Should you wish to store any of your belongings, they are operated by using one pound coins, which are refundable. If you hear the fire alarm sound whilst you're in the jury suite, please make your way out of the building via the double doors leading down past the canteen area. These will lead you out to the front side of the building and there will be someone there to meet you to take your roll call. Now to take you through a bit of the court process. Courts generally sit from 10am until 4.30 each day and if you are lucky enough to be selected onto a jury, you must follow the direction of the judge or the usher or clerk who will tell you when you are to be at court. Sometimes you may be expected to sit until 5pm. If you have childcare to arrange, please bear this in mind. Lunch is usually taken between 1pm and 2pm, but again, if you are on a jury, these times can change, but just listen out for instructions. If you are a member of the jury in waiting and you are still in the jury suite, please wait to be released for your lunch by the usher or the clerk or the jury officer who will keep you notified of progress in court and will give you times of when to be back. Next I will explain how the jury system works. The jury officer will scan you all onto our computer. This will generate who is allocated to each trial. A panel of jurors will be created and from this panel 12 jurors will be selected in court at random to sit on the trial and for the whole duration of that trial. The remaining jurors will come back to the jury suite and if they are not required for any other trials that day they will be sent home after about 30 minutes by the jury officer. If you are sent home, you will then need to call the jury answer machine after 3.30 p.m. each day to see if you are required to attend the following day. If on the message you are not required to attend, you must call the answer machine each day until you are released from your jury service. Please be aware this message is available from 3.30 p.m. every day through until the following day. This answer machine message is only for people who have not been selected to sit on a jury. If you have been selected, you must follow the directions of the judge or the clerk or usher who will have told you whilst you are in court. If anyone doesn't have their juror's number, please see the jury officer at the end of the DVD. Whilst you are here, it is hoped that most of you will experience some time in court and there are a few do's and don'ts with regards to court etiquette. The usher or clerk to assist you in court will go through these with you before you go in. Please be aware that mobile phones and laptops may not be used in any courtroom. Now we will go through your expense forms. Firstly, please remember to fill in all of your details in order to assist a prompt return. Please send your expense forms in at the end of your jury service, together with any bus or parking tickets and your loss of earnings certificate if you are claiming. All forms must be sent in together. Anyone with childcare claims or who are self-employed, please take the appropriate form from the tray on the desk. 
please be aware that the limit for loss of earnings is £64.95 per day. This amount is inclusive of any childcare expenses. If you only attend jury service for a few days, then you will be paid for the days you claimed. If you are unable to return to work during the 10 days allocated for your jury service, but only attend court for some of these days, we will pay the full 10 days up to the maximum allowance. The childcare form will need to be completed with the details of the children that will be cared for together with the details of the registered childminder. If you are using family or friends to assist with your arrangements, then we can in some circumstances arrange a payment of £2.50 per child per hour, but you will need to discuss this further with the jury officer. If you are self-employed, you need to provide the court with a copy of last year's tax return or a letter from your accountant outlining your daily earnings. Finally, if you have any further queries regarding a jury service, any of our members of staff can help in particular the jury officer, but also the ushers and the clerks. Please feel free to discuss any concerns that you have. Following this, there will be another short DVD that will take you around a courtroom and give you a further insight into your jury service. Thank you for listening, and I hope your time here with us at Oxford Crown Court will be a good one.